So you're researching for the best budget-friendly or sub $100 dynamic microphone? Well, the quick answer is the Samsung Q2U. You get everything you need to plug and play for $70. So if that's all you were looking for, go ahead and in the description, click on the Amazon link and buy one because you will not regret it. But if you wanna know the why behind that and some cool features of this microphone, stay tuned because we're gonna dive right into it. All right, so yes, we are taking a look at the Samsung Q2U microphone today. So any audio you hear in this video is gonna be recorded through the Q2U, and I do have it running through my Rode Podcaster Pro, which is recording on my MacBook through GarageBand. I don't have any audio processing right now set up for it, so you're gonna get the raw sound of the microphone itself without any pre or post audio processing. I may go into some audio processing and but I'll let you know when that happens so you can see if there is a sound difference or not. So this is a dynamic microphone and it's going to capture the sound in front of the microphone and not so much what is around it which makes it great for podcasting. Whereas the other type of microphone is a condenser mic and that is going to pick up all the sound around it and you know if there's a lot of noise in your room that's going to show up in your sound and isn't really ideal for podcasts. So with this microphone, it is on Amazon right now for $70. And with that, not only do you get the microphone itself, but you also get the pop filter, a desk stand for the microphone, you get an XLR cable and a USB cable as well. So it is out of the box, ready to plug in either your computer, or if you wanna use the XLR cable, if you have a audio mixer, interface or anything like that you can plug it into that as well so the cool thing with it being a usb mic is when i first started my podcast i was using both of these microphones and running them through my computer using GarageBand to record the audio and then the video obviously through my camera so you are able to put in multiple microphones on your computer there's just a different setting you have to set up but it is possible and so on the microphone on the bottom you'll see you do have the inputs for the xlr USB, but there is also a 3.5 millimeter jack for a headphone. So you can actually listen to the audio going through the microphone as you are recording. And there is a volume button on the front for your headphones, as well as a power on and off button on the front as well with an LCD light. And when it is on, it'll light up green. And it'll also flash red if you're getting too much noise. So that way, you know, to turn down your gain or pull it away from your face a little bit. So again, like I said, with dynamic microphones, it's gonna capture what's in front of you. So as you move that microphone away, it is not gonna pick up all that sound around it. So you really wanna talk pretty close to these microphones, but I have had no issues with these microphones. I have used it on our podcast. Um, both my guests that are on the podcast use these microphones and I use the Rode PodMic and you really can't tell a difference. All right, so for some audio testing, Right now there's no audio processing, but let's go on this Rodecaster Pro. We'll go into the audio processing and we'll turn on some processing here. All right, so right now I have the DSR on and the noise gate as well. So I don't know if you can tell a difference. So this is with some audio processing on and we'll go ahead and turn that off. And this is without any audio processing. So I can't hear a difference in my headphones. We'll see if you can hear a difference. If you can, let me know down in the comments. Again, this is no processing. And then this is with the audio processing through the Rode Podcaster Pro on. We'll go ahead and turn that back off. And I also have a Rode Pod mic and we'll kind of see if you can hear a difference. Again, what makes this microphone such a great value is you get the microphone and everything you need with the cables, the pop filter, and the desk stand. So with the Rode Pod mic, it is a $100 microphone, and that is all you get. You get just the microphone. And you'll see on the back of the microphone, all it has is an XLR input. It does not have a headphone jack. It does not take a USB cable, so you can't run this through your computer. You have to have an audio interface or some sort of mixer. So you'll see here in a second, you, there's really no sound difference, and you just get so much more with the Samsung than you do any other microphone in that price range so we'll go ahead and turn the rode pod mic on so the audio you are hearing right now is from the rode pod mic i do have the gain turned up a little bit more on the road just because it is a more gain heavy microphone 
But let me know if you can tell the difference between this microphone, which is the Rode Pod Mic, or this microphone that I'm talking through now is the Samsung Q2U. So can you tell a difference? Again, this is a Samsung microphone. And now we're going back to the Rode Pod Mic, which is awesome, but for $100, you are only getting the mic itself and not all those other features, and it's not ready to go out of the box. All right, so now we're back on to the Samsung Q2U. Again, no audio processing. This is what you get out of the box. So we went over all the positives with this microphone. What are some cons? Well, one of the cons is with the actual stand that you get with the microphone as well. So we'll go ahead and set this up. It's not a very sturdy or heavy duty mic stand. It is limited to this size um, and the legs and it's just all made of plastic. But I mean, if this is all you need and you wanna say do Zoom calls or anything like that or FaceTime from your computer, that'll work good enough but if you're doing an hour-long podcast like we do unfortunately it's not adjustable so whoever is talking into this microphone has to stay pretty close since it's that dynamic microphone so you may be hunched down for the entire episode and not able to move around whereas if you spend a little bit of extra money and get a boom arm like this one here you have the option to move around as needed so if you want to lean back in your chair just bring the boom arm out and keep the your microphone stays close to your mouth. So just like microphones, there are several different brands and options and price ranges out there for boom arms. This is an Innova boom arm. I think this one was around $50 just because I wanted to make sure I get one that hold, can hold a lot of weight in case I ever wanted to update microphones down the road. But they do have boom arms that you can get for $20 or even under. I do recommend if you are gonna mount it to a boom arm, or maybe even that desk stand to use a shock mount that you, we have here. This is a Samsung shock mount and it just helps reduce any vibrations that you're gonna get or if you accidentally hit your boom arm or microphone, it's gonna absorb some of those vibrations so it doesn't pick up in the mic itself. So that being one downside with the microphone is the stand it comes with is okay, I guess. Um, it is usable. We did have uh, my buddy use it in the first podcast and again, he was hunched over the entire podcast and just looked uncomfortable. We did upgrade him to a heavier duty adjustable desk stand while the other co-host uses this uh, boom arm. So one other con is if you are running it through the computer with USB mics and say you have are running two microphones at the same time, you can monitor your audio and how you sound through the microphone, but you cannot hear the other person's audio. So if you're talking and you both have headphones, like I'm using the Bose noise canceling headphones, I really had a hard time hearing what he was saying during the podcast because I can only hear what I'm hearing loudly and I cannot monitor his audio through the headphones. There may be a workaround with some sort of headphone splitter, but we didn't have that or know of that. So it was kind of tough hearing each other through the conversation, but we could monitor our own volume through the headphones with the mic we were using. If you're gonna have multiple guests on using that and plugging in through the microphone to, to monitor the audio, that is one downside. You're not gonna hear each other very well. You can, you don't have to use headphones to monitor. Um, I like to do that just to make sure I'm close to the mic and don't kind of wander off. But again, you don't have to use the headphones if you don't want to. And honestly, those are really the only two bad things I have to say about this microphone. They're not deal breakers at all. Again, you can upgrade the microphone stand or get a boom arm, you know, for less than $20 and that solves that issue. Or if you want to monitor each other's audio and have a, some sort of mixer or audio interface, you can do it through that or not even use headphones. So that quality of the microphone, especially for $70, is awesome with it including those cables that saves you that money there so if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these i highly recommend it obviously i bought two so it was a definitely a good deal for the money especially if you're just starting out or on a budget and don't want to spend high dollars i would love to have joe rogan's sure mv7b but again, I don't have $400 to spend on just a microphone. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these to level up your audio, I will post an Amazon affiliate link below that you could purchase through and also help our channel out. 
If you have any questions, let me know down in that comment section. And if you found this video helpful at all, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel so you can be notified when we come out with similar content like this. We're going to be doing a separate video on the Rode Pod Mic as well as this Rode Podcaster Pro. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when those come out. Thanks for watching.